Good morning. It is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024, back here for Daily Shakeup number 884. And today I want to talk about how we fill the hole, how we fill the hole. And I was thinking about this last night in a conversation that we related to personal development, personal growth, and this idea that we have parts of ourselves that aren't working, aren't um, some emptiness in us, sometimes some literal holes, belief systems we have about ourselves and our worthiness, and how we need to clear that space out. But it also made me think about we need to not only clear the space out, but we need to fill it with something new. Because otherwise, we just leave it empty and raw and exposed, subject to be getting the wrong thing in there again. And I thought about the same thing in terms of change, personal change, process change, behavioral change, especially in the workplace. Because let's say we've got certain behaviors or ways of communicating that don't work well. Typically, our approach is we want to stop that. We hey, you know what? This isn't working. We need to stop that. But we need to go actually further. Instead of saying, this isn't working, we need to stop that. We need to say, this isn't working, we need to change that, which is a two-part process. It can happen together, but there's two separate parts. One is we're going to remove the old behavior, perhaps also address what's driving that behavior. What's the reason behind it? Maybe there's some other issues that are um, creating incentives for people to behave that way. So first step or important step is we need to remove, empty out the old behavior, but we need to replace it with new behavior. And I don't know that we give that enough attention. Too often, we focus on clearing the behavior, and even if we were successful at that, we haven't provided replacement behavior or actions. And as a result, we're left to flounder and often revert to either that same behavior or another behavior that also doesn't serve us. So when you're thinking about change in your organization, especially related to your people, think about what do we want to stop and what do we want to change, but what do we want to replace that with? So for example, we're no longer going to be, and I'll take a big example, we're no longer to be verbally abusive, but Instead of that, we're going to replace that with uh, in, intentionally blessing our team members. Or we're going to talk about instead of telling people what they did wrong, we're going to ask them questions to help them learn for themselves. So get rid of the directive statements, but we're going to replace them with questions, and we need to train people on that. Versus stop, don't just say stop doing that. Give our people something to replace it with. It does two things. It helps us be more effective at change, and it allows us to not just fill the hole, but fill that hole with what we want in that hole. That's it. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you, and have a fabulous Thursday.